and welcome to Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. I'm Insetic on this first video is Blank Tester. Hey kids, how's it going? And so, Neversoft has jumped to the next console generation. This is on the PlayStation 2, GameCube, and Xbox. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be uh, jumping right in with someone looking at the uh, Pro Skater list. It's pretty much the same as it was in Tony Hawk 2 with one new addition and one noticeable missing person. You might have noticed Bob Burnquist is not in this game. Hmm. It's kind of funny. Uh, the year this came out, he was actually in that Konami ESPN X game skateboarding oh. instead. But then he comes back for Tony Hawk 4, so hmm. it's kind of odd. But yeah, the new addition you might have seen is Bam Margera. Yeah. Who is a up and coming skateboarding star who's also gaining attention for his work with Johnny Knoxville and the Jackass crew, as well as his work with the band CKY. Yeah, he's... Oh, I didn't realize. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Huh. But uh, for this, I'll actually be picking Chad Muska. Uh, not only because it's kind of a, I guess, a running joke by this point that if it's not Tony 20, it's Muska 20. <laughs> but also that I will be playing not only this version of Tony Hawk 3, but the version developed in tandem for the previous console generation, PlayStation 1 and 64. And while most of the pros have the same outfit, Chad Muska actually has kind of a different outfit between the two. Oh, okay. So I thought it'd be kind of kind of fun. Cool to kind show. Cool. I gotta say, I love that the the all the characters have unique idle animations in that in the menu screen now. Like each Skater has a different attitude. You can really feel it right there. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Nice attention to detail. Yeah. And so we're on the first level of the foundry. And well, so what has changed between Tony Hawk 2 and 3? Well, since they jumped to the new console generation, everything just looks much better. The levels are, you know, more expansive, more detailed, have more elements in them. Mm. Uh, and have, like, people around that... Just yeah. really adds a whole lot uh, to to the feel of it. You could see everything. You know, there's not going to be any of that pop in that was on the PlayStation That's true. 1 yeah, games holy shit. right across the level. And uh, so, along with that, the physics engine received a rework, and then in the like tricks department and what you can do, even more tricks were added. And Tony Hawk 3 added in reverts. If you remember in the previous games. Uh, when you went up a vert element, like a quarter pipe, your combo is basically done. If you landed oh. back in the quarter pipe, you couldn't do anything to keep your combo going. Now, if you go up a quarter pipe and you land, you could revert with uh, R2, and your character basically like spin their board, and that gives you an opportunity to like manual again and keep your combo going. So, I mean, you can do even more now. You can use every element of a level as part of your combo. You know, it's weird. Your character doesn't seem to be moving as fast as in Tony Hawk 2, at least right now, and you're not uh, you're not jumping as high, but goddamn, it feels like you're going through these objectives really fast. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, definitely, it's hard to put into words, but, like, definitely for jump height, that's something where that's been reduced, but yeah, it feels a lot faster. Like, you kind of look back at... Tony Hawk 1 or 2 gameplay and every single trick had kind of more weight to it, took longer. Mm -hmm. But that means that in Tony Hawk 3, when you know what you're doing, you're just going to chain something across the entire level. Yeah. You're going to be tricking off of everything. You're gonna and be if you want to see, I, you know, if you want to see some like, like extremely high level examples of that, you go watch the speed runs of Tony Hawk 3. I remember I saw that at AGDQ one year and it was insane. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like the speed runs of this game are uh, absolutely wild. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, speed runs of. I mean, speed yeah, runs like of a lot of games yeah, are Tony absolutely Hawks. wild, but yeah. But yeah, like of the Tony Hawks, those are super wild. So now, so in each level, uh, you've still got that same kind of core two-minute runs 
style of gameplay, but now in each level, in each comp, in each, sorry, in each challenge level, uh, you have 10 challenges, but now the 10th is a unique challenge to that level. It's not a catch all, do everything else mm. as it was in uh, Tony Hawk 2. And now you might have noticed instead of cash being littered about, now in each level, there will be five stat points to find. Oh. And one new deck for your rider as basically the extra collectibles. And you can edit your stats to remove points? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Tony Hawk 3 basically says you could do whatever you want from the very start. Okay. You can change your stats up however you want from the start with the points given. You could change your tricks up to be any combination of tricks you want, even your special tricks. Sure, each pro starts with now four unique specials, mm -hmm. but from the very start, from the time you first boot the game up, you could pick a pro and then go customize their tricks and change those four trick slots to be different special tricks. So it's really like you're picking an aesthetic at the very beginning, and there are some default stats with it, but you can change those, and there's some tricks that go along, but you can change those too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's no having to wait to unlock anything in huh. that department. You can ride around the first level in free ride, like right from the start, like I said, right from booting the game up and find your favorite tricks. Do you, uh, like, are there any tricks to unlock or anything like that? Uh, as you go along, you unlock more special trick slots. Oh, so, okay. So right now I have four special tricks uh, basically, each challenge level, I will unlock another special trick slot. So, you know, after after I finish this level, I will have five special trick slots, and I'll put a new special trick on Chad Muska. Uh, Con Connor, what yes. is this thing supposed to be? Uh, so you got this room for oh, grindy doll awesome five is belts. what it's supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, 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 and. Uh, I don't know. I, I gotta admit, I may not be able to string, like, a whole ton of long-ass stuff together in Tony Hawk 3, but when I need to do a sick grind for you guys, I will do Whew, that grind. God damn. Yeah, yeah. They got some sweet set pieces in this level. Yeah, yeah. That's a great way to, to start off your game, right? Like, you know, first level's gotta make a big impression on you when you're when you're playing a game, and any game that... that makes a good first impression on you is the kind of game well i mean that's that's like that's the first way you keep a, a player playing your game right like yeah nobody plays through a lousy first level and goes yeah but i bet the second level is gonna be awesome you know like, <laughs> yeah yeah you know you either know you're gonna hate this game immediately or you don't <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, Neversoft, they maybe had a bit of a formula with the first levels, but it was a great formula. Yeah, Think I mean, if it ain't broke. Hangar, factory, you know, uh, a nice mid-sized level. Mid-sized concrete size. level with yeah, big yeah. open spaces? Be sure, go for indoors it. Indoors with them. Yeah, well, a lot of things to do, yeah. Um, so, you've, uh, you've seen me do reverts uh, a few times now, uh -huh. and and continue to keep things going. Um, now I you know, will say like, I remember, and maybe I just haven't played enough of this game, maybe I'm about to cause outrage, but I remember them being better as a kid. Mm. Like you revert and manual out of it and you lose a lot of speed. Um, and since the physics out, uh, engine has changed, it's not as easy to get back all that speed by, you know, continuing to do sick tricks. So. Oh my god, know, maybe Jesus. I just, <laughs> maybe I just need to go further, but yeah, yeah, that's that's been the kind of new game changer uh, to this game. And also, one thing I'll point out is that there are some hidden kind of combos, uh. as the game just showed. Like, for example, yeah, you can kick flip with left and square, but if you hit left and then hit square twice, you will do a double kick flip. Mm. And the game will call it a double kick flip, and it'll give you that uh, sound icon, sound indicator of doing like a special trick. I see. And it'll be a hidden combo. So there are a few of those. There's like double, triple kick flips, heel flips, you know, with the with the shove it tricks, and then some uh, like flip to grabs, like kick flip to indie is a specific, again, hidden combo you can Whoa. do. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
and then like with grinding, uh, you can. Ah, yeah, this is some... the first Tony Hawk game where you can, you know, kind of change up what grind you're doing in the middle of it. Ah. You know, from the from the default 50-50, you can hit up triangle and go into a nose grind. Hit back triangle, go into a 5-0. And uh, take, that, take that one step further. And you'll see that I show off those kind of hidden combinations for when you could do those with manuals or lip tricks. Um, it is, the game, like I said, does kind of hide them a bit. Mm. But if you're if you start playing around, I mean, that's that's. I it. feel like that's pretty rewarding. It's. I mean, they're literally hidden tricks, and so this is the kind of thing where you can, you know, you play the game and then you tell your friend like, "Oh, dude, if you do this and then this, you know," and they'll be like, "No way, you can't unlock yeah. Goku in Tony Hawk 3. <laughs> and it's like, "Well, <laughs> no, dude, you totally can unlock Goku in Tony Hawk Three. Yeah, that's yeah. the one we were all. Telling each other on the right. playground that you're gonna Sorry. lock Goku. Sorry, guys. I guess I just spoiled the bonus video. You know, yeah. the big secret character at the end of all this is Goku. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, the game's years old, so you're everybody right. knows. Yeah. 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 Um, so yeah, now I'm going through some of the customization elements, and it's kind of odd with Chad Muska. You really cannot customize his outfit at all, mm. but with some other skaters, you can change their outfit up. Like, I know Tony Hawk, you can put, like, headwear on him when normally he doesn't have headwear. Or, like, Andrew Reynolds, you can change up what shirt he has. Hmm. Um, obviously, uh, you know, all of that is, is there in, like, your custom skater. But, yeah, so here, the uh, default tr special tricks that Chad Muska had were three grinds and a special lip trick. And, you know, I should also mention that... But this game has more special manuals, special oh lip God. tricks. Like, they really round it out, um, uh, you know, special tricks. But again, I can pick any of these. These are not locked until I beat the game with this character or get to a certain point with another character. And, um, yeah, so I'm putting a special manual on so that next video I can show off those kind of hidden manual uh, combos, you know, going from I... one... Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I saw Big Hitter 2 and instantly thought it said Big Hitler 2. And I was like, no way. Why? And then like, oh my God, calm my racing heart. For a second, I was like, no, Tony. Antonio. Hit or miss. I guess they never miss, huh? Is that still a meme? I think that's... Did I just, I, it did I just is destroy still, oh, this video? That's the thing I should have put in the fucking... <laughs> Tony Hawk that, uh, level. Yeah. that Tony Hawk 2 level. Well, I mean, Tony Hawk 3 has a park editor, and it's Maybe. been fleshed out even more, so you'll get your shot again. Yeah, me Meme Graveyard 2. So, that was the first level of Tony Hawk 3. Next time, we're going to go to Canada, and also along with this, as I mentioned, I will be playing the version released for the PlayStation 1 and Nintendo 64, so you can also go over there and see how that compares to this version. Either way, you cut it, I'll... See you next time.